coming for Tennessee State University as the Tigers will be entertaining Norfolk State of the MEAC. He's given some space, has an incredible motor as he's out to the 20, still on his feet, has a seam to the 40, dear new midfield across it, still on his feet to the 40 and pushing around. Now it looks like set to go. He's going to drop back, has some space going deep to begin into and out of the hands there. In the backfield along with Coons, who's under some pressure and he's knocked down. That swarming defense. Draylon Ellis, at quarterback for the Tigers, looks off to the left side and is able to find his man. Let's take a look at our... Those shifty backs, that's hard to bring down. We'll see that today. And here, pushing forward and notching the first down there. He's ready to roll. And off here, Gantz, as he pushes forward, he's going to take a few defenders with him. Pick up of another couple yards to Bands. But here on the field, Ellis quickly fires out to Gantz as That's he turns up the field. A couple yards, yep, and there's the flag. Lead the Tigers' offense as he drops back. Has a little bit of time in the pocket. Now he has some space on the run, throws, and finds his man. Dan, I got no problem with the pocket even though we did see. And now the extra point attempt is good, so. Ellis hands it yep. off, bouncing out to the left side, up the sidelines, has a little space before being pushed out, out with a little added energy, up 10-0 here on the Spartans. Slinging it there, just shy of the first down. Did we just see a pass? As Bryant. We'll keep it himself, rolls out to the left side and he'll have the fresh set. Looks like by maybe a yard or so, season. And uh, they're looking to maybe use the tight ends a little bit more as Bryant looks to go deep and in stride, is able to find his man, able to get that one. Second touchdown of the game for the Tigers who are heaping it on the Spartans. Spartans as they're trying to get the offense into a little bit of sync and move forward, maybe catch TSU a little bit off guard as they do push forward. There's the handoff here, out toward the right side, not much going. As Coons is back to pass, and there again, into and out of the hands of one of the Spartans. This time the handoff off to the left side as Rouse tries to cut it up the field. And we'll get the gain there. Three receivers down toward the bottom part of your screen. Ellis in the pocket, fires over. Nice leaping catch there at midfield. It's coming back. As Ellis is able to pull it down. Now he's going to oh, take yeah. off. Not tucking the ball, though. As he's going to... As Otto Coons... Will keep it himself and gain about six yards. And this year, no different as Coons here will hand off. And pushing forward there for a fresh set. That was Lexi. No, that was Move things along quickly and try to get into a little bit of rhythm that we did not see from them in the first as Coons here able to dump it off at another nice chunk of his last week. And here in a matter of two plays, two catches. As here, Coons will keep it himself as he rolls out to the left. He'll have a first down and then step out of bounds. A first down and 10 as TSU starts from the 20. The handoff and a nice gain there. Look like gain. Coons has an open man across midfield. And finally being just outside of D.C. Not playing in this evening's game. Not sure why, but he is not playing. And so they're relying on Pegues. Here's Coons looking down the field. And he's able to get his guy there, Tavion Morris. Has a long field as it's on the four-yard line is where they'll begin. Creating some space, though, is what they've done here. Now their own 14-yard line with 4.17 to play here in the first. He's got some time, now he'll pull it down, trying to create a little space, throwing it down the field. Here he hands it off, another gain of a few yards, that'll be a first down. Let me tell you something, that action right there. 
Ellis has a little bit of time Ow, under fumble. a lot of oh, no. fire. And with the ball being out, leading Norfolk State. Coons, mm. under some pressure, is going to create a little space. And he's going to be tackled. The handoff. Another is that the second there. carry for Xavier? He really didn't go, man, go anywhere. Spartans banging on the door. Mm. This time, it's going to be Evans again, and he's going to be brought down. Same there play. is Talbert. Coons rolling to the right. He'll throw, and there's a flag. Pass interference. Ball on the one. The, Norfolk oh. State trying to push in. No, he didn't. This didn't TSU. Some stick to itiveness yeah, for the Spartans. It seems like a little bit of a pick. I'm calling some. I'm calling some. No, I'm not calling. It's going to be a, a, a. I'm calling him a, a quarterback sneak. It was Coons, yeah. And then 44 should have come back from behind the quarterback and just started. He was 12 of 12. This is the end of the first now half. Now he's 12 no. of 13. 5 of 13, 74 yards for Coons. As here, Ronald still on his feet to the 40, using the ankles. And missed the extra point at the end of the extra half, or at the end of the first half. Oh, that gosh. was his first missed extra point, but he does make. Handoff here to Gant. He's out to about the 20-yard line. Dylan Rouse, 41, so they've split the yardage in the running game. And here, Ellis is going to keep it himself. Bounces out to the right side. And stiff arm. Answer, Norfolk State. Here with about 11 minutes to play in the third. Up the middle, there's Gantz. Just across midfield. He's entered the game for TSU as Ellis drops back to pass. Flips it. The swing pass there to Rouse. Mm. Initially bumped, but get a little. So oh, pretty man. excited about some of the things happening here in Nashville. Ellis oh. leaps, throws, oh. and it's picked off. On his feet to midfield, still with some room and being them and can change the dynamic of a game in a GIF. Here's Coons rolling to his right, that and that's going to be picked off. So TSU. So that we talked about how important they were just before the, the break. There, passes oh. slung over to Johnson. He's going to be out to the 40. Just Coons now keeping himself as he rolls over to the short side of the field. And he'll be tripped up there by Phillips, as well as creating some room for the running backs as here it's going to be Bryant up to about the 48 yard line or so at midfield flips it over to Gant down to the 40 yard line Ooh. and he's hit hard you know what that's targeting Bryant here rolls out to the right side thought he had he some space it. now he's going to pull it down to the 30 and barrel over a defender the receivers they're toward the bottom of your screen, oh. two toward the top, and Coons instead will keep it himself and race up the middle, still off to the races to about the 38-yard line. Coon this time quickly slings it over. Pushed out of bounds there is Teron. <laughs> Trying to call his own number again. Coons bouncing out to the right side, saw the stick and was able to get there. Collegiate level, third year as head coach at Norfolk State. Coons looking deep and adjusting, wow. catching. So the late hit goes on Jeremiah. Was going to land, and the receiver looked back to make the catch. And now it's touchdown. So pushing forward into the end zone. And so the late hit goes on Jeremiah. Jo He's actually ran that play, right? Yep, on Norfolk the State here going for two, passing it and completing it. So it's second down and one from their own 34. And here Ellis will keep it himself and get the fresh set. Wasn't easy. Nope. Handoff here across the 40 yard line. Ellis has two receivers each side. Will look toward the left and look deep and find his man. Nice catch there. Ellis looking to his right, finding Gant. Gant twisting out of one tackle and around a couple of others before his finally. 
Ellis orchestrating the drive, rolling out to his left, keeping it himself. Now looking to turn it upfield, doing so, and hitting Painter. Seeing a little room, able to find it, take advantage, get it. That was able to have him get the corner, get the edge rather, and get to the end zone. James Lowry's extra point is good. She was last in time possession in the country. As here, mm. out toward the left side, and then oh. brought down. That's Ellis. Oh. Get on down on the ground. Yeah. This time the handoff. Gain of a few yards there. Just over a minute and a half to play here in the fourth. Coons passing it out. It is complete. Coons under some pressure, slings it out. Gain of a few yards and then stepping out of bounds is Tremaine. Four of 10 on the season and fourth down conversions. Norfolk and State is throwing into a oh, lot of traffic into that. and out of the hands. And then here able to, in the fourth, grab that go ahead touchdown. And picking up the dub here this evening, 24-17. Well, the homecoming chair, right? And he's talking about how this celebration started from Sunday and ended today. What better way?